Letting go of expectations in life when we've set goals or we desire something new to come into our existence is really, really, really hard. It really is. It's incredibly difficult, right? You set a goal and you say, well, David, I'm supposed to expect it to come true. I'm, sp I'm supposed to expect that this person I've been talking to on Match.com is going to be the perfect match for me. I'm expecting that this new career that I'm taking is going to blow my mind and allow me to achieve goals I've never achieved before. And having the expectation initially when you set a goal is awesome. But I got to tell you something interesting that happened today, and I fully know where this is coming from. In my spiritual mental mastermind program that I do every morning, I do what Napoleon Hill taught me in 1980 in his book, Think and Grow Rich. I call upon all of these different guides. Some of them are alive. Some of them have passed on. But I bring them into my room through my mind, and I say to them, like today, I'm, I'm sharing with what happened this morning. This, this is so powerful. As a matter of fact, the program I'm talking about is from our new book, Lessen Your Burdens and Lift Your Spirits. And you can get the audible of the book free at talkdavid.com, or you can get the soft cover at Amazon, obviously, right? So I'm in my mastermind group, which I do every morning, and I ask questions, you know, how can I be more loving? How can I be more patient? How can I enhance my business? How can I enhance my health? Whatever it might be. And so today I said, you know, I want to know a key, a major key in life that's going to bring more peace, that's going to bring more confidence, that's going to bring more David into the existence instead of rushing and racing and trying to accomplish all this stuff, which I've been doing for 43 years. Now, I'm not quite a maniac. You know, I do take an hour and a half every morning for my spiritual practice. And this is where this came from. So as I'm asking this question, I get this answer from out of nowhere that always seems like it comes from out of oh, nowhere is drop all your expectations of goals you've set, Drop your expectations how other people are supposed to react to you or act to you or treat you. Drop all expectations. And when you have no expectations, you will be filled with nothing but peace, divinity, bliss. Use whatever words you want, but start dropping your expectations. That's what they said, you know, and I'm sitting here going, Oh my God, this is huge because how many times do we get hung up, right? And we set a goal and we work our butt off and it doesn't happen and we get defeated, right? Well, why do we get defeated? Because we had this incredibly strong expectation that this was going to work or relationships. Listen, 55% of first time marriages end in divorce, 60% of second time marriages end in divorce, 68% of third time marriages end in divorce. So we have these expectations, right? That this will never end. This is the love of my life and everything else. Now, the good thing about having expectations is that it's a goal. But if you hold on too tight to those expectations and you don't get what you want, you can go down a really nasty path of anxiety, depression, etc. Instead of trusting that what happened was supposed to happen. Now you have to take responsibility for any goals you failed or relationships you failed. You've got to take responsibility for what you did to allow that goal or that relationship to die. But then we have to look at the reality. If you can just trust that what's happening in your world is supposed to happen in your world, and that's not an excuse to keep drinking, keep having sex with thousands of people that get you in trouble or whatever it might be, right? It's not that at all. We want you to be so grounded that you set a goal and let it go. You're free. Set a goal and trust that if it's supposed to come to you, it will. Set a goal, do the work. I'm not saying don't do the work. Do the work, but drop the expectation that it must come in a certain way, at a certain time, in a certain amount of money, in a certain shape of a body of a person, right? This is where we get hung up and we create so much stress. We get so disappointed. What if when you set a goal and you had a high expectation and it didn't come through, you said, okay, well, let me see, did I miss something on my part? Did I not do something I was supposed to do? Or am I being protected from something? You know, did the relationship end because it would have been worse down the road? Was I fired from this job because it would have been worse down the road? You know, we have to start opening our mind and saying, if there's a reason for everything, if you believe in that philosophy, that everything happens for a reason, then we can start setting goals and let go of expectations. When they come through, oh my God, celebrate, right? but trust the process. If you can let go of the expectation, you're gonna let go of probably 90% of stress in life in that one area, right? Trust, have faith that if something doesn't work out the way that you want it to, that there's a different way, there's a different door, there's a different avenue, there's a different person. Have faith 
in the process. I know this isn't easy. I know we've been taught, especially in Western society, that we grind, that we pick a goal, a certain amount of money to make, and we grind to get there, that we pick a certain person and we try to blow them away with love bombing and everything else to hook them, right, to hook them, because we have an expectation that without this person, without this money, without this home, whatever it might be, I'm not gonna be fulfilled. And as all of our great teachers have told us, you're already fulfilled. You just have to open your eyes and be appreciative for what you have. And in that moment, mm, you have learned one of the biggest lessons in life. If I can help you at all, go to talkdavid.com. We have five books there for free. You can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. This is a massive goal right here, what I'm talking about. Dropping expectations, going after what you want, but dropping expectations is a massive goal that goes against all of society's values. So we have to retrain the mind, the conscious and subconscious mind in order to be at peace. If it happens and I did the work, it was supposed to. If I did the work and it doesn't happen, it wasn't supposed to. A pretty simple philosophy. If I can help you, go to talkdavid.com. And most of all, have faith in yourself and have a beautiful day. Bye now.